Well, hello there, BS. Um, and I'm going to come right back at you and tell you that I don't accept your expression of condolences because it's built on a faulty concept that it's a genuine offer or a genuine expression of condolences when it clearly isn't. Because if it was, you wouldn't try to invalidate someone's lived experiences before you offer a condolence. It's the same as saying, well, I'm sorry that your husband abused you, but this whole thing is really built on a faulty concept because there's really only one way to experience that abuse and only one way to heal from it. But anyway, I'm sorry for your experience. Now you may not like that analogy, but that's what it sounds like to me. And whether or not you agree with it, with all due respect, I, I really don't care. Because what you did here is more harmful than you think because invalidating people's deconstructing experience is very harmful, especially if you have never experienced. What this really sounds like is gatekeeping. And again, with all due respect, it kind of shows your ignorance because are you new here? According to your platform, it sounds like you just want to call BS in the comments. Well, good on you if that's working for you. But if you knew anything about me, you would know that I'm mutuals with a lot of church people, a lot of ministers, and they know I'm not calling them out. They, they know how I feel about some of the churches. I'm very supportive of them. But you are epitomizing with this comment the exact kind of person that I'm making this video for. Isn't that ironic? So thank you for that. So when I say you're gatekeeping, what you're expecting here is someone to convey or explain their deconstructing experience with language that you find acceptable. That sounds a lot like uh, patriarchy. It sounds a lot like somebody being the gatekeeper of heteronormative standards. And that to me is very toxic and dangerous. So what do I mean by that? I think that the best way to describe this is um, the heteronormative standards are we expect people to fit into this round hole. And that is related to the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you worship, the way you love, the way you believe, whatever it is. And so if you're a square peg, we're going to force you into that round hole no matter what, because this is the way you live. And so you're saying that deconstructing is built on a faulty concept because you're implying that all of us who are deconstructing are building our deconstructing experience, blaming all the entirety of all churches. And you don't have a clue. I mean, dude, do your research, number one. And number two, stop gatekeeping other people's experiences. Stop and listen and learn and see how people are now free to express themselves. There is no more gatekeeping. Patriarchy is dying and I'm celebrating every time somebody pushes back on someone thinking that they're the gatekeeper of heteronormative standards. And that includes how we reject religious beliefs. Now, I don't have any inclination or desire to try to change your mind. I could care less, but the reason I'm making this video is because someone's gonna see your comment and think for just a hot second that they're doing deconstructing wrong because they're still dealing with those indoctrinated beliefs of shame and guilt. And I'm not gonna allow you to place that on the people who follow me. I have high walls and deep moats around here protecting my followers from people like you who believe they have the right to judge and gatekeep how people are deconstructing. It's really just none of your business. So I would take your account and your zero followers and your five people you're following or whatever it is, and I would reconsider how you're showing up in the world because this ain't it. 